writing down. Um, hello everyone, CCMP Win here with another episode of Pokemon Pirate. So, it is time for explanations, isn't it? So, in the last part, we actually got three team members, which have now changed. So, as you can see, I have, I still have Growlithe, I still have Booty, but they, uh, I have evolved Eevee into a Vaporeon. And let me go over the highlights of what I did, because I missed two recordings by accident, because I was just being a retard for some reason. I don't know, but here's what we did. So, let's hop on our bike. And, oh my god, if I'm, not, I'm not on super speed, so yeah. Um, so basically what I did, I did some pretty important things that I covered, but, um, yeah, they got the lead. Because, um, my old recording software, screencast or it doesn't work anymore, so I basically missed two episodes. So, we basically, um, I said basically a bunch of times, I think, but whatever. So, I took down this gym, uh, the fourth gym, the grass gym thing. And I think she gave me TM 18 or 19 or something like that for uh, Giga Drain. So where is it? If I could find it. Uh, Giga Drain in my TM case. Uh, yeah, Giga Drain 19. I got that from her. Uh, what I also did was, um, gosh, I really can't deal with this super speed. Sucks. So now I'm on my new recording software, which is a um, uh, debit debit recording software or something like that. I think it's debit or debit video capture, whatever. Um, so what else I did? I went in this house. You have to go in this house because if you don't, you can't like get past the game sort of. So let me turn the audio up and yeah, see. I'm hoping uh, if you talk to this lady. She'll give you a tea, but I already did that, so, um, she gives you the tea, alright. It's supposed to be in your key item section, so remember that, key items, tea, and what you do with the tea is, um, you come this way, and then you give the tea to this nice guy, and he lets you pass through into Saffron City, and the noise is waking up. Yeah. So, yeah, now you, you can go into Saffron City. Um, what there is in here, not much. Um, what I did was I went into this guy's house, uh, talked to him. His name is Mi Mr. Psychic. So, if you can already guess, he gives you Psychic TM29. So, yeah, he gives you that. And what else? Uh, that's basically all we did in Saffron City, and there's this gym over here, there's actually two, this, uh, this city's pretty much all, like, all covered with Team Rocket Grunts, we'll be taking care of them later, but anyways, um, yeah, that's actually not a gym, this is the real gym, but we'll be dealing with the fake gym, with the open doors soon. So, n next order of business, um, we actually already uh, did some stuff in Lavender Town. We came to the Pokemon Tower. Um, we did like only a little section of it, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, I, the, our rival was here, CCMPLOL. He was here, so I fought him, and that's all I did. I didn't continue with the tower, so don't worry, you didn't miss anything there. Um, what else, what else, what else, oh yeah, uh, we, I went on to Route 8, and gosh, I took care of all the trainers on this route, so, they're all dealt with, nice and happy and stuff. So yeah, that's all I did, um, which is actually a lot, so I shouldn't say all I did, but. So, what I'm gonna do, for, I have created a Fire Red playlist. I am going to put these uh, videos in the playlist, this episode in the playlist, but what I am also going to do is, um, if you did not know already, this is a co-op, co uh, 
what I did, what did I just say? Uh, this is a co-op LP with um, Laser Luigi. He is playing Pokemon Leaf Green, so I'll leave his channel. Uh, I'll leave his channel in the description below. Go check him out. Um, I'll put his videos fighting the fourth gym leader. Uh, I'll put his videos fighting the fourth gym leader in my playlist so you can see what he did. I'll also put like the trainers in V8 fighting the rival and that stuff. I'll also put that in the playlist. So everything will be okay. So I'm very far behind. I'm lagging behind. Um, Faraz or Liz Luigi is already on port 20, 22, or 23 and he's in victory mode. And I'm still here in Celadon City. So we gotta catch up. So this is a gaming center, um, coin center or something like that. But anyways, um, what we need to do is come in here, and then you, you see this suspicious guy, Team Rocket, so he's guarding this poster and he's telling us to go away or else. So we obviously have to fight him. I'm just not going to super speed for this battle. So yeah, uh, we fight Team Rocket grunts, and then... It's actually strange seeing a Team Rocket grunt inside this building. Yes, yes. I wonder what is going on in Holy Crap. Holy Crap, Holy Crap. Alright, Growlithe apparently sucks. And you are burned, alright. I don't think that might help, but no, help very much. But I'm just going to sacrifice Growlithe right here, yes. Because I... Because Growlithe sucks. That's what I'm going to say. Before, before it evolves, it pretty much just sucks. So, as, uh, oh yeah, I also want to talk about, um, my Vaporeon, which I'm, which I evolved from Eevee. Um, it's a water type, obviously. Um, I taught it Water Pulse, which we got from Misty. I did that from the deleted recordings. I'm just going to show you how boss it is right now. Just send it out. And yeah. So, I have yet to capture my final team member, which I will do, and then after I get that done, I will make a separate episode. Um, it will be about nicknaming my team. I'll let you guys do that in the comment section below. Since I'm a nice guy, and I will, yeah, so I'll let you guys comment um, on which nicknames, um, which nicknames you want. So, yeah, um, that'll be in a separate episode. But that guy says... The rocket hideout might be discovered. I must go talk to the boss and you walk right through. Uh, you can't do that. So there's this poster here. It's like, hey, I switch behind the poster. Let's push it. So yeah, there's a stairway. But before I'll do that, I've got to go heal my worthless relic. So I will be right back. I'm still not familiar with these debit or debit settings or whatever. All right, everyone. I'm back. Uh, sorry, saw the click of the mouse right there. But I'm back with super speed, and the noise level is loud. For super speed, loud. Um, but yeah, I'm on like 30 FPS right now, which is pretty crazy. But whatever, it's super speed, who cares? So yeah, let's head down, because this rocket hideout, I, I just don't want it to take long. I mean, I'm a lazy person, not gonna lie. So yeah, and it's sort of laggy, not gonna lie. But let's fight this trainer nonetheless and hopefully win. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, I'm not risking that again. Uh, go, Nido King, Nido King, just please kill it. Alright, alright, alright. Oh yeah, and off screen, I taught Nido King some moves. I taught it, um, Brick Break, which is alright there. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just show you the move right now. Oh crap. Damn it. I hate, like, that, um, super speed is sometimes so fast. You lose track of your clicking. So, yeah. And it's laggy with Super Speed. Damn. Alright, but whatever. I mean, I guess I, I can make do with that, but, um. But, I'll let you guys comment uh, if you want to see Super Speed or not. Because, yeah, I know it's sort of laggy, but. Uh, it gets stuff done much faster so I can catch up with laser. Then I wouldn't have to do super speed. So, yeah. Alright, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna turn super speed off because, um, it's sort of, it's really laggy. And I want to give you guys the highest quality content, so I'll be right back.
Alright, now it's right there. Out of super speed and no more lag. So that was the first floor of the rocket hideout. This is the second placement floor. So boss said you could see ghosts with the self scope. Hmm, I wonder what's going on there. And I wonder who the boss is. So, uh, next we fight this nice rocket front who has a Zubat. We will defeat it. Oh, so slow without super speed. But, whatever. Making good quality content for you guys. So you could appreciate everything I could do. Everything I do. Uh, next is a coffin. I think I'll just stay in for that. And yeah, guys, um, if you, uh, now that you are watching this video, uh, you, you should go check out my channel, because, um, I've changed quite a few things on it, uh, one thing being that I deleted a ton of my videos, um, and I'll tell you why, um, I deleted a ton of my videos because I thought they weren't, you know, they weren't tip-top shape, that's what I'm gonna say, like, you know, you know, like, some, like, of the beginner YouTubers like myself, uh, we upload videos, but, like, they don't get many views, I, my, uh, Ebony videos actually got a few views, I'm not gonna lie, they actually got a pretty good amount of views, and they got positive feedback, a lot of positive feedback, actually, but, um, I wanna start my, um, Ebony Beginner's Guide over, because, um, I think I didn't do my best job at it, and now I know what I'm doing, because I've become in actually a pretty experienced Ebony player, not gonna lie, I mean, I'm, I'm just so good, I mean, I'm not bragging or anything, alright, but, yeah, I'm gonna start that over, and, um, if you watched my Minecraft videos, uh, I also want to delete those, because, um, they were sort of bad, and, uh, I didn't use a mouse when I was playing. I was using that, like, you know, that pad thingy as a mouse. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I didn't like it very much, so... I don't like the pad things a lot, so... I just don't want to use... I want to use it with a mouse, so it's going to be much easier. So, yeah, um... Now we are on the spinny maze thing. Uh... I mean, this maze is actually not even a maze at all. It's just really easy. Um, so yeah, you just go on those tile things, and then they like spin you around or whatever. So okay, here comes a comp. Ah, oh, no, it's not complicated at all. What am I talking about? All right, this is actually quite elementary, but whatever. Since I want that item over there, go over here, super potion. Nice, nice, nice. And actually, um, I actually recommend you that up. Uh, actually recommend you guys go download the debit, um, screen capture, the one I'm using right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a link and put it in the description. It's actually really handy, because, um, it gives you, like, this big screen recorder, and then, like, to the side, your game. So it's actually really useful. So you could play on the big screen uh, and control the game at the same time. Uh, I, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you download it, you'll know what I mean. I mean, if you're playing like Pokemon, that I think it'd be really suitable with the em emulator, uh, DS or um, GBA. I think it worked really well with those, and I think I want to train it for you, so send, send me that. Yeah, it's really suitable with that, um, whatever. Or if you want to be a cheap Asian, like Computer Boy 2133, um, he's also my friend, but I will not link him in the description, because I honestly don't feel like it. So if you want to be a cheap Asian like him, uh, wait, you can do something, I'm not going to say what. It relates to Camtasia, and you can get it for free. I'm not going to say how, uh, but yeah, Computer Boy found out a way to do it. I mean, if you want to save a ton of money, you could get it for free. You don't, you don't technically get it, but you can record with it for free. 
So I, I I'm not I, I don't do that. I'm not that kind of person. I mean, if I were to use it, I would actually buy it. And plus, Camtasia is not suitable with my computer, which really sucks. So yeah. And also, um, with debit, I mean, debit's pretty good. Uh, Computer Boy has it. Um, you can change some settings around. It gives you an hour of recording time. So yeah, I think it's an overall a good, good recorder. So recommend you guys go down with that. And we can give you. And then, uh, I thought there was an item. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I always place at the back of my hand because I've played through this game so many times. And I think this guy drops the key that we need. Or if not you, it's the guy in the different color, but whatever. So basically in this hideout thing, uh, we see like the same Pokemon over and over again. I mean, yeah. So what should I talk about now? I have it. Oh yeah, um, New Ebony server came out, server 161. Uh, I think they're gonna make one, at least 162 pretty soon because um, I think they release a new server every month. So today is March 4th. So I think they release a new server every every uh, month on the 9th. So I, I expect um server 162 to come out on March 9th, which is in five days, so get excited, get excited for that. For all you non Ebony players, you have no idea what I'm talking about, and yeah, I recommend you guys check out Ebony too. It's like, it's like medieval war so I'm glad that plays in gas on this. Because, um, this Growler has a bad time of hacks, that's what I'm getting started, has a horrible time of hacks. So, we defeat you. And, um, yeah, so I guess we don't drop the key. Sad panda, sad panda there. But we got some experience for our Pokemon, so that's cool too. So, you head down, let's fight you. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. I was actually gonna release a new LP on Valentine's Day, but, um, you know what I like to do. I like to release um, LPs on like special days, like holidays and stuff. Um, I plan on releasing a new LP on St. Patrick's Day, so I'm very excited for that. Um, and I also plan on releasing a new LP on April Fool's Day. So yes, I actually consider April Fool's Day a national holiday, which it probably is not anyways. And on my birthday, just laugh like right this. But um, on my birthday, I'll release a new LP. Well, actually, I might not release it. I might just make a birthday special video. Yay! So there's something coming up every month. Um, uh, this month St. Patrick's Day. Uh, next month April Fools. May my birthday. I'll, I might make one on like Mother's Day or Veterans Day or something. Probably on the other day, I'll probably release something on that. Uh, June, I'll probably release that, um, a video on summer vacation. So the first day of summer vacation, I'm probably going to release a video. Uh, that will probably be the most exciting video of all, because summer vacation, woohoo! Um, getting ready to have party and stuff. Um, looking forward to summer. Um, yeah. Damn it, I hate these puzzles. Um, ah, okay, never mind. Very easy. Uh, you? Flat to me, bro. Come at me, bro. Alright, let's fight you. And something else is that Minecraft 1.2 came out. I played it. Um, I haven't played Survival yet. I don't know why. But I've been spending all my time on Creative Super Flat. Trying to construct an ultimate city with like golems as my protectors and some villagers, and I'll like put some veils in it so the villagers can be in that. So, yeah, uh, Minecraft 1.2 is actually 
it's actually pretty pretty fun. I mean, uh, they they could have added more stuff. Not gonna lie. Uh, one thing I really liked is that they made um the villagers have protection, like the big iron golems, and another. They should have made um one thing I don't like about the iron golems is that. Uh, the Iron Golem should have been, like, defeatable, because they're pretty much immortal against monsters. I mean, first of all, it takes 56... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me re-say that. Or rework it. It takes 50 hits from a diamond sword to kill a golem. So, yeah, I mean, saying that from a diamond sword, that means, like, there's no way of... Like, if a gang of mobs... Like, if a gang of 500 mobs tried to kill... That's one golem. That one golem would probably come out victorious with no damage. Or, if not, probably not no damage, but like barely any damage done to it. Because um, a golem kills a mob with, in two hits. That's better than a diamond sword. A diamond sword, I think, takes three hits. So, I mean, yeah, they should have made, like, iron golems weaker. And I don't really like how they're made either. Because it takes like five iron blocks and one pumpkin. I mean, the iron, they should have made it so that, like, like, um, they shape the. No, I think, no, not five iron blocks, I think four iron blocks. Yeah. So they make. Instead of just placing them in a cross position with the pumpkin on top, they should have just, um, like, made, like, it w it's not enough for a golem. I mean, um, the golem is like how tall? It's like four blocks tall, three or four blocks tall. But it's constructed three blocks tall. So they should have made like legs to it instead of just the body. And they should have made like arms and that stuff. But hey, if that's how they made it, it's fine by me. But I mean, I think they're just too easy to make. 30, you just need 36 iron and a pumpkin. The pumpkin might not be that easy to find, but I mean, the 36 uh, iron, you could find like iron anywhere. If, if you just dig down, you can pretty much just find iron. Um, so that's pretty much my complaint. Um, I have another complaint, and you just dropped the big feet, so be glad to take that. And now we can use the elevators. So another complaint I have is that. Um, Oh, no, no, no. oh yeah, the Ender Dragon. I have a complaint about that too. So this episode, uh, no, episode should be called like Charles Complaining or something like that. Cause I'm just smoking, you know, like like a baby sort of. Where's the elevator? I think it's down here. Um, okay, elevator. Where are you, elevator? I need to find my elevator. Uh, go here. Go here. some iron armor to kill um, the dragon, but 
Yeah. Because the dragon is just way too weak. And they should have added, like, um, they should have given, like, the dragon some abilities. So, like, make the dragon have, like, mind control or something. So the, the dragon can command the, uh, Enderman to attack you. That would be actually pretty cool in my opinion, but, yeah. And, like, they should, like, make the dragon, like, breathe freaking fire. So you could get, like, burned or something. S or, like, poisoned. So you lose more hearts that way. That that way it's more of a challenge and I mean it might be more difficult but it also might be more fun. So yeah. I have no idea how long I've been recording but dang, I feel like it's been a long time. So by the time this is uploaded, it will probably be at seven or eight o'clock Eastern time. Uh, it is four o'clock right now. So yeah, attacking some sand shrews, and then after this channel we'll battle the boss, and in the next episode, we can go to the tower, oh, spoiler, um, yeah, in the next episode we will be going to the Pokemon Tower, and that's where the wait. For now, we are still in this dumb base, which is actually taking a long time to get through. Because I'm not in super speed, and dang, I was supposed to kill it, and please don't get poisoned. I didn't think so. Uh, quick attack will probably not kill, because my Vaporeon has jack, jack nothing, um, attack, and it got intimidating, so, yeah. Defeated you, blah, the door opens, and then you can fight the boss. So, your name is Giovanni, the important tools, yes, yes. Uh, Pokemon art tools. Tools for killing and world domination. So, Boss Giovanni would like to battle. Boss Giovanni sends out our uh, uh, Onyx, which we will one hit KO. Yeah, so this the whole battle will be one hit KOs. Um, Onyx is dead. Because uh, my team is actually pretty overleveled, not gonna lie. Because I like trying them out Pokemon. And we learn by its good another special move. Uh, get rid of sand attack. Ah, actually, I should have got gotten rid of um, the other move. The sand attack can actually help at times. I mean, uh, mishaps will help. So a Rhyhorn, we will take down in one hit. Rhyhorn is a um, rock ground type. So yeah. Oh wow, critical hit. Add insult to injury. That's like what is that? That's like eight times effective right there. Last, there's a Kangaskhan, which is a normal type. It's actually pretty powerful. I actually considered using it on my team, but uh, you obtain it way too late through the game. And when you do obtain it, it's at a pretty low level. It's like at level like 25. And it's not worth Oh, we were supposed to one hit KO that. Dang. Oh, but you get poisoned because of my. Needle King is poison for it. And how does that not kill you? Like, Brick Break is super effective, and my Needle King's got, like, a good attack. Good, good attack. Like, my nature raises attack, and it's so many kill you. So good. You are one tough game, Kong, my friend. And obviously, if you did not know the name, it's supposed to resemble King Kong. So, he says we will meet again, and we obtain a self scope for the win. So now we can GTFO, but before we do that, we need to fight one more thing. Uh, which I will send out Dudu for, because he ain't got no action so far. And I just noticed that I have a sexist team. I have all all males, and then Yap. Which, and Yap isn't even on my, on my official team. So maybe my last team member will be a female. So that just completely gave away that I'm not using a legendary as my friends. Because legendaries have no gender, so they're basically a mix. I don't know if that's what Game Freak or, uh, or if the Pokemon creators are trying to say, like, hmm, legendaries are genderless. So does that mean they're a mix of male and female? So they could be woman man, woman, oh, whoa, woman man. Yeah, well, man, man, um, she male, uh, what, um, 
she, he, I don't know. Um, man, woman, sort of thing. But yeah, I've rambled on long enough. After this fly, hopefully this train is done, and I can end off the episode. So, we defeat the team off at the ground. And that is it. So, everyone, be sure to comment and subscribe. Be sure to check out Liz Luigi's channel. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to get it, or get it uh, screen recording. And that is it. Next time, we will be going to this uh, Pokemon Tower, investigating that. But for now, that is it. Uh, guys, be sure to comment and subscribe as I said before. And please, uh, this is CCMP1 signing off.